G'day YouTube, Turbo Tristan here. In today's episode, we are finally gonna be buttoning up the K24 and getting it ready to throw into the engine bay of my EK Civic. Since the last video, we had to halt progress on the K24 VCT gear and oil pump progress and that was because I actually stripped a bolt that goes right here so I went down to the experts elusive racing and I grabbed myself a blocks racing chain guard now I didn't really see the need or want to run one of these or have the expense but you cannot buy these bolts from Honda anymore so the only solution is to run a chain guard so we have done that um, everything's a nice snug fit so now I'm ready to button this all up. We'll put the whole effects trigger wheel back on there. And um, we'll go and show you something that I did. Don't ask me why, I got a bit carried away and I decided that I would paint the front cover of the engine and also the rocker cover. And this is what I came up with. So that is a custom purple pearl it's got a diamond glitter silver base coat and a thin sort of a candy violet and i've got in there a custom mix of red blue and white pearls so um yeah hopefully this comes out really awesomely on camera try and catch it in the sunlight but just for something different, I've still got the yellow rocker cover in there and I do really, really love it. So I might end up putting it back on, but I've got a bunch of these covers. I've got another spare one, which I haven't painted yet. So I'll probably do that a completely different color again. But yeah, this came out absolutely awesome. Try and catch the light there. So the last thing for me to do is button this up. What I'm gonna go and do is, uh, get the silicon out and fit the cover back on give that so sort of 20 minutes to dry and then I'll flip it over or at the same time I'll flip it over and put the sump back on um, and yeah we'll get it all buttoned up because then I need to take it off the stand put it on the ground do my clutch and flywheel so my competition clutch and flywheel then I can put the gearbox on and I've also got these new OEM spool up brackets. So these are the CRV bracket that everybody needs for a K swap. I managed to track down the OE supplier and I have a heap of these in stock and I will be selling them on my new website, which is coming soon. If anyone does want one before then, we can still sell you one. So hit me up in the comments below. If anybody's wondering, this is the blocks part number. Go down to Elusive Racing and grab yourself one of these guys. Anyway, enough of that. Time to put the case on. Well, a thing kind of happened and we kind of have a K series in the engine bay now. It's all mounted up, cables are in. I actually made a oil feed line. I rerouted my oil return line. Um, just I just felt like that was a better option uh, the belts on the new color is unveiled most of you would have seen that in the shorts clip that I did and I've already had a few fails uh, the bonnet doesn't clear I've put this up on its highest setting so that I've got a bit of sump clearance underneath um, and I put the bonnet just sitting down with a microfiber towel on there and it's actually left an imprint in there which is really paying me off because it was only a couple of days old the clear coat so it um, was still a little bit soft um, but yeah that's all on I've got to work out the breathers set up the catch can um, fit the fuel reg and then run the fuel lines so those are the next things on the list I don't know if I should still run this um, clutch cable or not um, there's plenty of slack. I can really run that anywhere, but I've got to get the right fitting 
to go onto there, but it looks like it'll do the job. I just run that along here and down um, out of the road. And then I'll have to head over to Elusive and grab one of their K-Swap radiators and their K-Swap radiator kits and work out how to mount that back in there because I've cut off a lot of the tabs, but that should be real simple. Um, I'll try and tuck it as much as I can. Then I will also need to slightly clock the turbo just a little bit up so I can shoot uh, a pipe straight down there. Join it up with the intercooler. The other side I'm gonna run around through that gap up somewhere into here and then do some fancy elbows. And then I'll probably take this to Andy at Elusive and get him to make me an exhaust. Um, just like the one you saw on Gary's car. There's plenty of room there. We'll do a nice um, 90 and then straight down under the car and use the 1320 muffler that I've got. Probably just run one. But the good thing is I can uh, grab gears now. My competition clutch and everything's in. The car is still being used for storage, but check out this hybrid racing shift box. I think it's absolutely awesome. Move that out of the road. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Nice and high, straight off the steering wheel. Bang, 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 just grabbing gears. It's gonna be awesome. Cannot wait to feel what that feels like. Uh, but I also need to get this over to wiring and get Stu uh, from SM Motorsport who wired up my Haltech last time. I'll give him the job of doing this because as many of you know, wiring is the thing that I hate. I've got the full CL9 loom. So I'm just gonna give that to him, give him the Haltech, give him the wideband, all that stuff and uh, get him to wire it all up, get it situated in the car. So. After that, there's base maps on the Haltech software that just will fire this thing right up. So chuck some fuel in it, off we go. And then we'll see how good my timing job was on fitting up the K20 oil pump and the 50 degree VCT gear. But apologies, um, this video was meant to be all about the mounts and everything turning up and all about me putting it together but I actually just got stuck into it and I worked really, really hard. It took me a full day to button everything up. I triple checked all of the timing, triple checked everything, sealed up all the gaskets, um, torqued down the clutch, flywheel, everything, put it all on, put the belt on. And yeah, I just wanted to be really particular about how it all went together and make sure that I didn't miss anything and if I had have filmed it, it would have taken me a lot longer. But now that it's in there, we can actually put some episodes together about where I'm going to mount the sensors, where I'm going to mount the fuel rig, we're going to make some fuel lines. Uh, I didn't show the making of this one. It was really, really easy. Uh, that's my oil feed. Just runs off this uh, fitting down here, which I got from Raceworks all the way straight up. And yeah, we are pretty much good to go in that regard. Starters on. The next thing I'm gonna do is just a little thing, uh, just to dress up the engine bay, I got this block off plate from 1320. Uh, it's gonna fill in that hole down the back over there. As far as content goes, that's all this one is today, just a quick updater. Um, yes, it would have been good to see all of that go in, but mate, I was just, on my own, busting it out last night, all day yesterday. I started about two in the afternoon and finished about 10 in the evening. It's not over. Heaps and heaps of content coming on this K-Swap. And then once it's running, whew, millions of videos coming on that. I'll be driving this every single chance I get. Until next time, don't forget to bring the boost, spool up. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the new color scheme.